Hello YouTube, today is March 3rd, I'm giving you guys the final reveal of my 48 hour personal build challenge and I'm also entering this into the March of Street Stock is what Chip has called it, um, top 10 list, I started with the 66 Ford Fairlane GTA from AMT, um, I added some 67 Fairlane cues like um, the side molding. Um, I made 67 Fairlane tail lights. And um, I think here, I think I built my dream car. This is what I'd want my dream, dream car to, to really look like. Um, it's got a three, I put a 351 Cleveland in it. All wire detailed. Battery has terminals, has a mount, tie down. Throttle return spring throttle linkage um, power brakes um, Wanted to give a little bit more detail. So I added a decal to the washer motor um, To the water overflow bag Let's see if we can't get that to come in and then I use some wa oops. I use some watch parts for um, I use some watch parts for the overflow bottle set. See if I can get that in there. A caution fan. Um, you can see the fuel lines, the fuel filter. Just all that good stuff. Then the wheels are resin copies from Steve Zimmerman. Um, I got the original wheels on another project that I'm working on. Um, I only copied um, the wheel so that way I could paint them um, to match. Um, well, paint the whole thing without having the chrome ring and it's a solid piece. I didn't want to steal Steve's design, but on a quick build, on a quick build, I just wanted to hurry up and make me a set. So, uh, the way Steve has these designed, they're they're great. Um, you guys, like I've said, I've been promoting his product for um, a couple years now. Um, the tires I made myself also. Um, the green is a custom made green. Um, the interior is um, a dauber. And the interior is RLM 80s, what they call the olive, the camo olive green from Vallejo. Um, then I just, I made it to be like a car I would really want and drive every day if. I could afford to build my my own car. Um, it all the chrome was done with the Molotov marker. I added. See if you guys can't see that. I added burnt rubber to the rear quarter panels on both sides, and see if I can't get us and to the chassis to. Because if this was my car, I'd be doing some burnout showing off. <laughs> um, weathered the chassis. I'm getting used to I would never wash or, or you know, put stuff on the chassis, you know what I mean? Um, I'd just paint them and detail them up and they'd be really clean. But here lately, I've been adding the rear end, like you can see the dirt on the rear end. Um, all the weathering because if this is my real car um, I would definitely be driving it I would be showing off so there's I added the burnt rubber to the quarter panels uh, to the underside for like say I was smoking the tires um, 
try to give a little bit of heat distress to the mufflers. Um, the exhaust would be stainless so it don't get too much, a little bit of surface rust here and there. And, um, you know, the, the chassis would be dirty, um, if I was driving it every day. I don't know if you guys can see that, but four-wheel disc brakes from Pegasus. Um, uh, I made my own aluminum exhaust tip. Um, it's green on green on the inside, some draft 3D resin, um, some draft 3D resin. Let's see if we can't show that. Speaker pods. There are also speakers in the door, which I'll show you that um, in the final reveal video with um, all the steel pictures. And really love the wheels. Um, I added valve stems to it. Let's see if you guys can't see that. I had little valve stems to the wheels to give it more detail. The color on the wheels themselves is it's going to be um, a Volkswagen Mellow Yellow. Um, it's DuPont Chroma Base. Um, I've tried to share with you guys before. All my car, all my colors are real automotive colors. Um, so this is the color on the wheels. Um, the color on the body is was all custom um, mix. So I don't have a paint coat or nothing like that. I'm really, really liking this yellow. Um, I picked it up for a truck build that I need to, that I need to get done. Um, I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the display motor on and let you guys get a, a quick look at the car. Um, I gotta tell you what, the Molotov marker pins, they're a crazy fad right now, um, worth, worth the money, um, as it dries, it gets more durable, um, I did, if you look at the back window, and the front window, they have been cleared over, now, I want to say they get, when, when I paint, when I cleared over them, they give you more of the stainless steel brushed aluminum look. It didn't go straight to silver. But, I like the brilliance of chrome, so, I would say, for me, if I was doing a show car like this, a daily cruiser car like this, I would go no clear. If you wanted something to look weathered and old or um, the brushed aluminum look, then clearing them, this marker, of course, I use Nason Automotive Clear, so maybe my clear is different than what you guys are using in a can, which would be uh, lacquer base most often. Um, the bumpers were cleaned up. The seams that were on the bumpers were cleaned up. And then the Molotov marker used on the bumpers too. Um, and you can tell the brilliance of the marker next to the grill. Uh, like the headlight rings and stuff like that. You can't even tell. Um, yes, this was done in less than 48 hours. Um, but I had everything I needed on hand. Um, my products that I use are cured over heat and, and chemical versus letting a, a spray can gas out and then, you know, you got to polish it up and everything. So, I use some different materials than you guys do, but don't let this discourage you guys. Um, man, I love this car. It was a super quick build. Um... But it was just something that I, I can I can do. Um, I enjoy doing. And I hope you guys take part in the 48-hour build that um, Atomic Dog is going to have this month. Um, and just get out there and build. Have some fun. Do some building. I will be able to put still pictures of this in the end. Um, my favorite part about this is... 
I actually hadn't done no cards yet this year. Um, the wheels and the tail lights. I really am impressed. I impressed myself when I was trying to do the 67 tail lights. Um, you know, I. Sorry, right there was a big plus for me. Um, you guys have a blessed one. I hope I see a lot of you guys in the Chevy Cheeseburger Top 10 this month. Um, street stock. And um, this is many guys. Hope you enjoyed the build. Um, thank you all for following um, the build updates and everything as I was building it. And um, I don't know what else to say, but let's get see if I can't get just a little bit bigger. There you go. Let you guys take a minute. Oh yeah, I did add um, a res one of my resin steering wheels that I make. I put in there, and then I uh, painted the interior color, and then I did the Molotov marker over the top of it, and it came out beautiful. Um, you saw a little bitty shot of it right there. Well. Hope you guys are all going to uh, be able to enjoy the video. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I want to see anybody that um, has a finished build that has not um, taken part in the top 10 yet. Get in there just to see uh, just to see and just to have some fun. Um, the whole community gets to vote on our cars. This don't go to the judges. We are the judges. And remember, um, don't comment on... The video itself um, until after until after Monday. Um, this video here, you guys will be able to judge. Um, like Chip said, um, you can judge on the paint, on the motor, on the chassis, on the interior, and then on overall. And um, just leave your number score. Um, I think. You can get five points for each. Um, I can't remember right offhand. Um, but go check out. Um, and remember, if you vote on one build, you have to vote on all of them for this month. Um, Chip will get a, um, a video list of all the top ten entries. And then you go from each one. So if you vote on mine... Vote on the other ones, because if not, none of your votes count if you don't count on all of them. So, and, and if you're a builder and you enter, you have to vote on the cars other than your own or your build won't be um, eligible. So, let's um, just do this as a community, as a brotherhood, and remember, it's, it's only for fun. Um, this is many. Um, I'll add some still pictures at the end of this. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and um, man, I had a blast, and I honestly can say I think I built my dream car right here. I just, I love this build. Um, thank you guys. Have a great day. All right, guys, here I'm going to show you the start of the interior. Here's the color. Um, I left the bucket seats. I went with the dark green flocking. I'm here showing you the door panels, uh, the different colors I used. Uh, again, all the chrome work is from the Molotow um, chrome markers. Here's a few pictures of the engine bay as I was building it. And just doing some detail painting. A um, little bit closer to that interior flocking I always clean the edges if you can see the edges there I always clean those to give it a better um, gluing contact um, here's a chassis prior to doing the weathering now my dad and my dad had a real 67 my brother had a 66 um, basically the interiors were all one color um, I chose to add some 
secondary and, and a third color to it. Um, the steering wheel I make is a resin steering wheel. And the chrome part would be photo etched for model car garage. But I made it into the steering wheel and resin. And um, that's the Molotow marker in the center of it. Giving it that metal look. Here the motor and interior and chassis is all complete. Um, right here is... Um, this right here is showing you the wheel um, as I was building the four-wheel disc brakes to the back of the resin wheel. And there the resin um, rotors are painted. Then here's just going to be a few final shots of the car itself. Um, Later this week, I will take photos from my photo box. Get rid of all that background. George Ramos had mentioned that he really loves the way I hinge my stuff, the way they work and everything. Uh, I had just always been a fan of rather having the hood open and be with the build versus just being able to take the hood off and lay it to the side. Um, it's, I wouldn't say a mod or something that I do, but it's something that I became comfortable with. So I do it on almost all my builds just so uh, I don't have to um, worry about the hood falling off and where did I place it. And, you know, for me, it's just a personal touch I like to do to all my builds. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I wanted to support Chip's top 10 um, street stock. I wanted to build uh, one of the fair lanes that I've been dreaming of wanting for a while now. And I just hadn't done it. I'd collected the fair lanes and just hadn't built one. Um, I wanted to get one built. <laughs> so I chose this. Um, like I said, in the my products I use and things I use, um, the methods I use, let me build quicker than most others. Um, I just, I got my mindset to build it in 48. I did it in 48. Um, is it a contest winner? Um, I don't know. Did I have fun? Yes, this build here was a blast. Really enjoyed making the tail lights, doing the side molding, and um, really enjoyed mixing the color, getting the color I wanted. And once I added the Steve Zimmerman smoothies, the, the build was just crushing, so I, ha I had to finish it. Um, really, really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys take part in the Chevy Cheeseburger um, March Top 10. Um, thank you.